Nobody knew where we would be 10 years ago. It got really quiet here at the Kennedy Space Center. But I don't think anyone really could have envisioned where we are today. And lift off. Lift off. Lift off. Today, weather permitting, Atlantis will display its power and spectacle one last time under the direction of Flight Director Richard Jones. And the shuttle was sort of iconic. You know, there weren't many spaceships that looked like it. There weren't any that landed like it. And I think it had become sort of so commonplace. Yeah, you know, the shuttle flies six times a year. It has done it ever since I was a little kid or even before I was born. And I think it just became a bit of a surprise to the world that, wow, it's, it's not gonna fly anymore. Here's our commander, Chris Ferguson. He's in the suit up room going over to pilot Doug Hurley. And here is mission specialist number one, Sandy Magnus. This is Rex Walheim. He's our mission specialist number two. He's making his third space flight. He's spent more than 24 days in space. It was a real honor to be a part of the last shuttle mission, STS-135, because it, it's such, it was such an important mission from the viewpoint of really showcasing what the shuttle program accomplished during its whole 30 years. And here they come. I always looked upon a shuttle flight as like preparing for Christmas. You know, you, all the work is done ahead of time. Um, you know, all the shopping and the cooking, and that's what the training is like. You know, when you launch, that's like Christmas Day. You, you, you get, if you did everything the right way preparing for it, it's, it's all fun. Jones has already polled his team for a go for launch uh, from a systems perspective, as has the International Space Station flight control team led today by flight director Emily Nelson. This is an incredibly experienced and dedicated team that gets the people on the orbiter. Okay, Fergie, uh, we're starting to feel pretty good down here on the ground about this one today. So on behalf of the greatest team in the world, uh, good luck to you and your crew on the final flight of this true American icon. Let's light this fire one more time, Mike, and witness this great nation at its best. The crew of Atlantis is ready for launch. T-minus 35, 33. Clock will hold at T-minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And then all of a sudden, at 31 seconds, it's like, oh, we're stopping. And we all looked around, it's like, huh? What do you mean we're stopping? We, you don't stop, we 31 seconds to lifting off. And what had happened was the, the little beanie cap that sits on top of the external tank, you know, they get that out of the way so, so we can launch. And when they moved it out of the way, there was a micro switch that was supposed to tell the launch control center, hey, I'm out of the way, it's safe to launch. And that micro switch had failed. And so the launch control center wasn't sure if it was out of the way or not. The LTC says we need to verify using a camera. But it's just amazing how seamlessly the entire ground team, team ended up up covering it and we ended up launching just a few minutes late. This is CMAC, we verify, uh, we track it. It's like, oh wait, we're launching! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, all three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Atlantis, station on the big loop, we have you in sight. Excellent, we'll be there soon. Every time I was in the shuttle and we were rendezvous and docking to the space station, every time I was awestruck because it starts out as this distant point of light and then you keep getting closer and closer and it's getting bigger and bigger and it's like, wow, look what we did. This is a monster building that we've built in space. Atlantis, arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. <laughs> Come on, you push off. Come on, you push off. Russian hug. How you doing, guys? The, the crew was just wonderful. Uh, we got along really well. You know, I, I think we uh, we laughed at each other, um, and uh, and we we knew when it was time to work, and we knew when it was time to, you know, relax. This is President Obama. Who am I talking to? Hello, Mr. President. You're talking to the Increment 28 crew and the crew of the Space Shuttle Atlantis. Oh, that's funny, see, because I was just dialing out for pizza. I, I just want to say uh, how proud I am of all of you. Congratulations to NASA. 
to all our international partners uh, and all of the personnel past and present who've spent countless hours and untold effort in making the space shuttle and, and the International Space Station uh, a unique part of our history. Transfer is the name of the game today, as it will be for the next several days, as the crew presses ahead to complete the transfer of almost five tons of supplies from Raffaello to the International Space Station that will help fortify the complex for the next 12 months. I have never been so busy in my whole entire life, just executing that mission on orbit. We worked really hard, but we had a lot of good time while we're doing it. Undocking confirmed. Atlantis departing the International Space Station for the last time. There was one night before we landed. We had all of our tasks done. We were ready the next day to deorbit and come home. And the four of us had an opportunity to hang out in the flight deck and watch the world go by. And that's where we had a chance to really focus on, wow, this is you know, the last night a space shuttle is going to be on orbit. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting to be here on the final night of a shuttle mission. Don't quite know what to think. We're just trying to take it all in. There was a little part of me that was sad. I thought, man, this is an amazing vehicle. You know, here it is, it's sort of fed us and sustained us and it got us you know, in space safely and it's gonna take us home tomorrow safely and it's just a shame to put it to bed. You know, there's just, it seems like there's so much more life in it. But we understand all good things do come to an end. Lance Houston, you are go for the deorbit burn and you can maneuver on time. Landing here down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Having fired the imagination of a generation, a ship like no other, its place in history secured, the space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Its voyage at an end. Well, you're always relieved that your mission went well and that you got everything done everybody wanted to get done. So there was relief. But there was, I remember we sat there uh, when we landed and none of us wanted to move. Because <laughs> we knew that was it. The minute we left the shuttle, you know, and, and, and got out of our suits that it was, was all over and we're just kind of looking around, okay, who's gonna move first? <laughs> Nobody wanted to move. Our mission complete, Houston. After uh, serving the world for over 30 years, the space shuttle turned its place in history and it's come to a final stop. We copy your will stop and we'll take this opportunity to congratulate you, Atlantis, as well as the thousands of passionate individuals across this great spacefaring nation who truly empowered this incredible spacecraft, which for three decades has inspired millions around the globe. Job well done, America. You know, it's interesting to be, I guess, a sort of a, a leader in the, in the Boeing company uh, with the ability to influence not only the design of a spacecraft, but also uh, have an opportunity to talk to a lot of our young engineers. You know, after we successfully complete OFT2, you know, then uh, all eyes are on flying the crew next. And that's, that's going to be really exciting. We're looking forward to that. We've got SpaceX flying people. We've got two companies ready to do suborbital business here soon. We've got the Artemis One launch in the near future. I mean, there's so many things that are now, after this decade, ready to emerge and really, I think, excite the public about all the great things we're doing in space. You know, the space shuttle changed the way we uh, view the world and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. There's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. 
Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end.